Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing production music library TRX Music. Now, if you haven't heard of them, they are a big music library based in Europe, open to submissions from composers from all over the world. So if you're a composer or music producer looking to get your music onto TV, film or games via licensing it to a music library, keep watching to see if these guys could be a good fit for your music and a place for you to start generating an income from your tracks. I'm gonna give you a full rundown of who TRX Music are, what kind of music they accept, how to submit to them, and some insider information from my phone call with one of their team as to the kind of thing they look for and a very cool thing that they do that many other libraries don't, which may make your life a lot easier here. Also, if you wanna make money from your music but aren't sure what the hell I'm talking about right now, then check out this video first where I'll walk you through everything you need to know to get started. You can then also check out the other videos on the Music for Income YouTube channel for some great tips on how to succeed in this area. I'm Michael from Music for Income. I'm a professional TV composer and I also run a production music library. If you want great insider tips on writing production music for music libraries, TV, film and games, subscribe to the Music for Income channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video each week. Now, as I'm starting to review production music libraries in videos like this one, it's even more important to subscribe and get notified so that you can be a head of the pack when getting your music to these folks. So let's get going. Today we're going to be talking about the production music library TRX Music. TRX Music are based in the Netherlands. In 2003, one of the leading studios out there for commercials and jingles called Top Format founded TRX Music. Now, TRX offer a simple pricing structure for their clients based on a monthly fee that ranges from 99 to 249 euros per month, depending on what purpose the client intends to use the music for. TRX Music aren't a specialist music library in terms of genre. So that's to say they don't just do one style of music, they do a ton. Album titles that they have range from dark cinema to future bass to happy country to chill ambient atmospheres. Now that said, Universal Music, who represent TRX Music in some territories internationally, say, TRX is famous for its dance tracks, inspired by the leading Dutch dance industry. This is very recognizable in its beats. Next to dance, TRX offers pop, rock, scores, beats, etc. All with today's flavor. TRX have also subsequently launched two other sub-labels. Now, Production TRX is one of them, which are typically shorter tracks. Universal describes this sub-label as TRX Music's little brother. Younger, faster, and made especially for cool audio imaging in your production. The other sub-label is Score TRX, with this one described as ready to use in trailers, promos, and any other production that needs to sound epic. The main focus of this library is motion picture. Epic, but don't worry, there's some tear jerkers as well and some comedy to balance things out. You can check out the TRX catalog in full by hitting the search music button over at their website, trxmusic.com. At the time of making this video, they currently have roughly 200 albums, each with around 10 tracks in. Unlike many music libraries, TRX don't have a page on their website where they talk about their placements. They do have some company logos for people they've placed music with, such as the Discovery Channel and Giant Bicycles. 
When I spoke to them, they mentioned that they provide music for a lot of radio shows and TV, especially sports programming, and have had several placements on networks such as ESPN. So that might give you a guide to where their placement strengths may be. And I'd guess that if you wrote music that could take advantage of these kind of outlets, then that would make for a good match. Head over to trxmusic.com and you'll find mostly instrumental tracks as well as some songs here and there. So that is tracks complete with vocals, of course. Now, overall, I really enjoyed the quality of the music. There's some really lovely stuff in there. The main TRX music library was probably my favorite. It was also labeled really nicely to search. Yet for some reason, the production TRX catalog just have album titles like Production TRX 40 or Production TRX 38. The sub-label Score TRX also has some good music in there. You could argue that it might not challenge the huge dedicated trailer libraries that exist these days, but then again, it's not their dedicated purpose, it's a sub-label. Add to that that if you're a good up-and-coming trailer composer, you might stand more of a chance getting tracks with these guys than amongst all of the competition for those huge trailer labels. They are represented in several territories outside of the Netherlands by a bunch of different companies. As mentioned, Universal represent them in some territories and they're repped in the USA by Warner Chapel. So getting your tracks with TRX Music should mean that they get a good chance of being heard and possibly selected by clients in many countries around the world. When I asked TRX about their deal for composers, they told me they don't openly discuss their contracts with their composers. I mean, I respect that in a way, as I've just phoned them up out of the blue, um, but I don't see why this shouldn't be open information so that I could pass that on to you guys, as I did in the uh, video reviews of Evolution Media Music and Crime Sonics. One question I would have for them if you were at the stage of getting a contract and discussing things is that they seem to operate with these blanket licenses only, i.e. I couldn't see a way to purchase an individual track. So, of course, you should get the writer's share of the royalties, as usual, but I'm curious as to how they pass on any money from these blanket licenses to their composers, as this seems the only way a client can pay up front for a track. TRX were really helpful about music submissions when I called them. They really do seem nice people, but then I've always found the Dutch to be lovely overall. So whilst there's no submission page or instructions about submitting on their website, they say that they're open to submissions and here's how they like it done. You can send them a link to some of your tracks. Now they describe this as your portfolio. They'll then get back to you if there are any upcoming albums to be filled that they think your musical style might suit. Again, they mentioned that they have no preferences on genre or style of music. They want your mixes to be good, but they do have in-house mastering services, so you won't have to master your tracks. So here's the thing that makes them a little different to many other libraries. They are open to hearing demos. Now they describe these to me as general ideas for tracks as opposed to fully fledged finished pieces. Obviously be very clear in marking up the titles of these so that they can see that it's a demo. But I like the thought that they're open to short demo ideas that you may have, which you can then produce up and finish once you know there's some interest in them from these guys. Let me know your thoughts on 
a library accepting a demo as opposed to a fully fledged piece in the comments. I know that some people are big fans of being able to do that and not have to commit to a whole piece, whereas other people feel that it doesn't really represent the end product that well. Let me know your thoughts. They say that once they get to know you and like you as a composer, they could add you onto a pitch list as they pitch out to this roster of composers when they're putting together new albums. This, I guess, is the ideal here when working for them, that they actually inform you when they have something that your kind of music may well work well on. So TRX seem like a good library and certainly have some great connections to distribute music around the world. I would ask them about their deal and check that you find it fair should they be interested in your music. Now, if writing for music libraries and getting your tracks on film and TV is something that appeals to you and you want to know how to write tracks that will stand out from the competition, I put together a load of advice to help you with this and I want to give you some really useful free stuff. I interviewed award-winning TV editors. Now, those are the clients who select which library tracks actually go on the shows about what they look for in a track. Plus, I interviewed library executives themselves about which common mistakes composers should avoid when submitting. And I interviewed a few six-figure-a-year library music composers who actually use quite rigid formulas, regardless of what kind of style of music they're writing. And I want to give you three free lessons from all of this research. Because remember, the thing about this industry is that if you send out tracks and they aren't getting signed by these libraries, nobody's gonna take the time to give you constructive feedback about what's not working. So these three free lessons are gonna give you some great insider knowledge about some of the most common mistakes composers and music producers make so that you can sidestep these common pitfalls with your tracks and that is regardless of what style of music you write in. So the link to this is in the description below. I guarantee you'll find some stuff in there from these experts that's really eye-opening and that you can use instantly to make your tracks better. And it's free. So just click on the link and grab your three free lessons. So I hope you found this review really useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If there's anything that you want covered differently or if you have a music library you'd like me to look into for a review, just let me know. Also, check out the other videos on the Music for Income channel and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of further videos. We'll catch you next time.